folks. I hope everybody is happy and healthy. I'm out here in the woods behind the house. Behind the cabin, I stand corrected. Uh, I'm going to go see if I can find some chanterelle mushrooms. You want to come along? Let's go. I think I see something up there. Be easy now. Tread light. Watch where you step and look out for something orange. I've done spotted some. Oh boy. <coughs> Looky here. Can you see that one there? There's your chanterelles. And there's some over here, a bunch of little ones. Lucky, lucky, lucky. There's baby. Look at that. There's baby. There's baby. See how bright orange they are? That's just dirt. See the little tiny ridges that go down? Little tiny ridges, not gills. Sorry. And right beside this one I just cut. Gotta be careful. See, there's a little baby one starting. So I just cut that. Don't pull them up. Some people argue the fact of pulling them up. Now, the spores, by the time they're this size, I've read that they're already distributed. I don't know, but still yet. And some argue the fact of the roots will grow more. Some say they won't. I don't know, but we cut them off anyways, just to be sure of the population. Now, what, eight inches away from that is the baby. Go another a little more than a foot. There's one with a baby under it. And then go another foot. You can see two popping up. You can go right here's where I picked this one or cut it off. Okay. Uh, foot away. Here's another one. And then about another foot away, there's a tiny one popping up. There's a tiny one popping up here. Oh, two. We'll uncover that. They'll be up in a couple few days. Their average life is uh, like two weeks. So maybe in a week, it'll be that size. You 
can see this one here, that's just too small. We want to let that grow another week or so. Look at there. Uh, some people call that a peanut butter cup. Because it looks like a peanut butter cup, don't it? We're just going to leave it. Oh, in there. Cut that guy off. Look how clean that is. Man, that's pretty. That's so yummy. On the screen here, I'll put up the nutritional value of the chanterelle mushrooms. Right there. Oh, there's more coming up under this one. Got a little dirt on it. Not too bad. And there's Oh, half a dozen or so coming up right here let's go see if we can find some more there is a toxic look-alike for the chanterelles um, it's called a jack-o-lantern Now, if you, well, we'll put it this way. Jack-o'-lanterns grow on, on stumps primarily. Um, the chanterelles grow right out of the ground. Um, so if you think you see a chanterelle growing on a stump, it's not a chanterelle. Also, they say that jack-o'-lanterns um, glow in the dark. Uh, there's a stump over here that for the past couple years have grown huge amounts of jack-o'-lanterns. I have not come out here at night and seen them if they do glow in the dark, but I really want to. And if they actually do, you know me, I'll get it on video. Um, like I said, the chanterelles do not grow on stumps or logs. They pop up right out of the ground. Okay. Ah, look at this. It's a, uh, shoulder blade. Now there was a, a dead calf right down in this creek bed two years ago um, that's probably its shoulder blade let's go find some more chanterelles yep Those are little, those are like the size of uh, between a quarter and a half dollar. There's one down in there, one, two, three. Oh, <clears throat> two foot away. There's a tiny one. Look at them little babies. Tiny. Oh. Oh, probably four foot away. See it? Right there. 
bad thing about these woods that uh, that are out here behind my my place is well number one ah, here's another bunch of them and I see some more over there but what I was starting to say was the bad thing about these woods here is number one they're not mine they are owned by my neighbor and he has free range cattle that roam around here sometimes they step on my mushrooms sometimes all the time i have to watch where i walk uh, so i don't step in a cow patty but he lets me come out here and uh forage around so sometimes you got to put up with things took about three steps there's a little tiny one about the size of a nickel there's a couple coming up something there I'm not sure what they are they're not chanterelles it might be some old oysters I don't know oh looky here looky here there's some coral fungus those are pretty good to eat Trish likes those but those are pretty tiny they're pretty tiny we're gonna leave him go but now what five feet away oh actually foot and a half away there's one starting to pop up there's one over there I really gotta watch my steps look at that tiny little thing they're so tiny I don't know what that is what type of mushroom that is but it's not chanterelle. It certainly looks like about the same color. Look at this guy. So tiny. That's about the size of a... Well, that's about the size of a BB. Anyhow. Here's me a pickable one. Harvestable, I should say. Not huge, but not too shabby for first ones out here. There's some over there. What, three foot away? Let's get this guy, and I got to watch it because there's a little tiny one there. But just cut that guy off. And see, there's that little one I was talking about. Right there is where I cut it off at. Now looky here. There's more coming. Yay. Oh. I help those guys out a little bit. Over the past two years, in this little area over here, I've always taken my chanterelles and shook them in the, uh, the mess bag, okay? In hopes that the spores will uh, fall down and grow new uh, chanterelles. And it's paid off. Two years of it's paid off in this one spot. Check it out. Look at that. This log here is where I usually take a break. So and that's why I've, these are here, because they shake them out here and then they sit down. Look at all them. Yee-ha. I only harvested three out of all those because they were just 
too small. I mean, them things, them things will get almost as big as your hand. But I gotta, I have to emphasize something about wild mushrooms. Even though um, I know that these chanterelles are chanterelles, 100%. I know what they are. You really need to do all your research, okay? So that you know 100% what you're harvesting. And just because that a wild mushroom is edible does not mean that your belly can handle it, okay? Um, as a rule of thumb, you should never eat uncooked, raw, wild mushrooms. You should always cook them. Here's a log with some coral mushrooms on it. Look at all that. And, oh, right close, there's some baby chanterelles. There's some baby chanterelles. Oh, three foot away. There's some. There's peanut butter cup. I found a lot of peanut butter cups, but <clears throat> I've never eaten them. Now see, this is why I call this my chanterelle spot, my chanterelle flat. Look at all them. Too small. 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 <laughs> Too small. Oh yeah. Look at all them little ones. I'll harvest about three of those. Oh, hi Holly, how you doing? Good, later. Well, that's it for the day. Here's 14. Like I said, that's it for the day. I'm gonna head back to the house. Not empty handed, and I got some yummies, but nothing spectacular, nothing, none huge, humongous, but uh, I got some. It's been a year waiting. So by the time my buddy Bill gets here in a week and a half. We'll come back out and uh, we'll hit the mother load. Y'all seen they're there. Thanks for coming along. Next time I'm in the woods, we'll find some biggins. We already found them. We just gotta wait on them to grow, right? Right, all right. You guys stay safe out there. Get out in the woods. Hunch down something. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Be good to each other, okay? Be good to each other. And as always, I love you. The good Lord above loves you. I'm out.